out there. I think everybody has heard of geometry, but has anyone heard of coordinate geometry? That's where we check out the properties of geometric figures using the coordinate plane. You know, the x and y axis, the quadrants, ordered pairs, all that good stuff. Today we'll review concepts from algebra that you're going to need when you start using coordinate geometry. In this case, I'm talking about the equation of a line. Check out these two linear equations. They're called linear equations because the graph of each one is a line. I'm going to start by choosing this one, because the y is sitting there by itself, and that's going to make things easier. Once the y is by itself, the coefficient of x, in this case 2, is the value of the slope. And because it is the slope, we need to think of it as a fraction, or 2 over 1. Now we see the rise is 2, and the run is 1. The other number in the equation, the constant, in this case, negative 3, is the y-intercept. That's where the line crosses the y-axis. Do you remember how to graph a line once you know the slope and the y-intercept? First you locate the y-intercept by counting downwards three units on the y-axis. From that point, you count off the slope. In this case, a rise of 2 and a run of 1. Then connect the two points to show the line. And there it is. You graph the equation y equals 2x minus 3. Now remember, we had two equations. I just showed you the easier one. Now let's try the other one. Remember that if the y is by itself, we can see the slope and the y-intercept. Let's use a little algebra to solve this equation for y. Ready? Here we go. Subtract 2x from both sides. Then rewrite the equation. Divide each term by 3. And now the equation is easy to graph. Count up 4 for the y-intercept. You'll notice that the slope is negative, meaning it will be a downhill line from left to right. So you can either count a rise of negative 2 and a run of plus 3, or you could count a rise of plus 2 and a run of minus 3. Just be sure not to count them both in the negative direction. Plot the new point and connect them. And bingo! You've graphed the equation 2x plus 3y equals 12. So, in a nutshell, there are times you need coordinate geometry to check out the properties of geometric figures. But before you can use coordinate geometry, you really got to understand the concept of linear equations. And once you really understand how to use linear equations, you're well on your way to understanding coordinate geometry. The equation of a line. There you go.